Esters are, are an incredibly important group of organic compounds um, and you come across them hundreds of times every day without even realising it. So in things like uh, sweets and flavourings and even fruit, esters are there providing the, the, uh, for some of the flavours and some of the smells you've come, come across. And just two very, very common examples, um, banana flavourings and actually the, some of the smell and taste in bananas is caused by a particular ester. And also things like pear drops and apple flavour sweets, that kind of thing, the, the scents and the flavours all comes from um, esters. So, what is the function group that is, is causing these properties? Well, they're actually based on carboxylic acid. So if you were to imagine the carboxylic acid function group, which was COO, in ester, um, the OH, if you like, has been replaced by um, an alcohol group. The function group is actually COOC. Um, and if you were to draw that out, it would look something like this. We would have our uh, section from our carboxylic acid. However, rather than having a hydrogen atom here, we now have another carbon chain. So how are these esters formed? Well, as you might have already spotted from this, we are going to start off with a carboxylic acid and we are going to have an alcohol um, that are going to be uh, combining, reacting together to form our ester. So I'm going to keep my carboxylic acid as purple. And I'm going to keep my alcohol as green. And hopefully this will make it nice and clear about how we are forming and then naming esters. Uh, so let's imagine we have the carboxylic acid, um, um, methanoic acid. Let's keep it nice and straightforward to start with. So we're going to have a carboxylic acid. Um, and let's have ethanol reacting with it. To get this reaction going, we normally use an acid catalyst. So I'm just going to put H plus A. All that means is I've got an acid here. Uh, and the product, the ester I formed, is going to be based on both methanoic acid and ethanol. And it's actually going to look like this. So my carboxylic acid section will be like so. However, uh, the rest of this species, the rest of this chemical, is going to be coming from the alcohol. So hopefully you can see here, um, to form this, I've lost this hydrogen atom that was attached here, and I've lost this uh, this uh, oxygen hydrogen atom here, and so I also get water uh, given off, or water uh, formed in this reaction, so plus H2O. When you are naming these, my old uh, chemistry teacher used to tell a little story, which maybe wasn't particularly... Uh, uh, acceptable but it always helped it really stick in my head about how to name these and he said if you were going to go to a party in the 60s um, and in the party there was alcohol which you could drink and there was some acid the drug that you could take you would always take the alcohol before you took the acid and that always helped me to remember this we always named the alcohol part of this before we named the uh, the part from the carboxylic acid so in this case our ester is called ethyl Which is coming from our, um, our um, uh, ethanol here, ethyl um, methanoate. So remember the alcohol, you always you name the alcohol section first and then the part that comes from the carboxylic acid, ethyl methanoate. The, carbos, uh, the ester, sorry, that you uh, need to actually be able to recognise and name that comes up most often is actually this one. Uh, let's try and draw this nice and quickly. Um, so I haven't I've done it in different colours this time. Again, if we think about this nice and logically, uh, we have got the section that's coming from our alcohol here. We've got the section that's coming from our carboxylic acid here. So uh, this ester is actually nice and nice and straightforward to name. This ester is actually called uh, ethyl ethanoate.
and that's the one um, that you actually be, you need to be able to name. But I think the rules are, are quite useful to know anyway. Uh, so we've already said uh, about some of the properties uh, of, of, of these chemicals. They have very distinctive smells. Some of them smell really nice. Some of them smell absolutely horrendous. Distinctive smells. Uh, but the ones that do smell nice are used for all sorts of different uh, different products, different, you know, even things like perfumes, uh, hair gel, or anything that really has a distinctive uh, smell is generally going to be, uh, be contained some form of ester. So distinctive smells, so they're used as flavourings. Perfumes. And that's really all we need to know. Okay, so remember the one one you really need to know is ethyl phenolate. However, when you are naming them, um, if you are asked to name one, you always start with the group section that comes from our alcohol first, and use your naming rules for that. And you follow that by naming the section that comes from your carboxylic acid.